What's up guys, we are here with the weapon that kills me the most often. Uh, not because it's a bad weapon, but because it hurts. Alright, I'll explain. So, see this mod here? You, you're probably gonna die while using these things because of this mod. Uh, if you want to, you can replace it. Uh, replace it with Jolt. It's up to you guys. Um, so... You you also might do jolt for this if you want the status nice. Uh, if you want the status chance, bam, that'll bring us up to a 67. But I prefer the damage. That's up to you guys. Uh, so build concealed explosives so it explodes. Why not the throwing weapon? Uh, build a fusion lethal torrent and hornet strike because they're necessary. This increases fire rate. This increases multi shot. This increases multi shot. This increases damage. Awesome. Pistol ammo mutation because these things consume so much fucking ammo. It's ridiculous. Uh, convulsion, pistol pestilence, and pathogen rounds to get our corrosive damage. You can change that according to what you're fighting. You can also use bam jolt instead of that to get some more stats chances. It's up to you. Um, you can also replace this if you feel the need to, and you can replace this if you feel the need to. You might have to change the format if you replace this. So be away. Um. Yeah, if you're running seven, use gas. So heat. Let's show this weapon with my overly high expectations for a weapon. So, as we proved in the last video, I'm fucking terrible. So I'm gonna die in this test. Expect it. Really, I need to kill you guys. Come on, bam. That was totally the weapon. No, not really. Obviously. Cool weapon. It, ex yeah. it explodes most of the time, so... That's cool. I'm probably gonna kill myself. Let's try to show these. Alright, you gotta go, man. Holy shit. Holy shit. Uh, the reason I don't like using these on anything but Seren is because you can kill yourself with them. Holy shit. You also don't need to be accurate with them, which is really awesome. Get over here, buddy. I am hungry. God, I killed them? Alright, get over here, buddy. Yeah, these things are pretty powerful. I'm sorry, I was just being silent. So they are weak against bomb birds. You can do radiation if you, they're not that weak, obviously. But I mean, if you want to change the elements, you can. That's all preference. I like corrosive because it's there's barely anything that's like strong to it. So why not? Um. Oh my god. Kills pretty fast overall. Murders really anything. These things are very fucking powerful. The only downside is that they, of course, can kill you. Uh, I can't say the only downside. They do have travel time, which I ignore most of the time because I have concealed explosives and I'm always hitting them anyways, even if it's for like zero damage. I don't notice my zero damage. You know what, I realized these were level 70s. And that's not how I normally test. And... That's not okay. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this going, because it is cool to see it against level 70s, which is what most people will run up against. I was wondering why I wasn't dead. Or dying, very quickly. So, alright. 
let's get into this test then. I actually just spent that entire time thinking they were level 105s. Because that's just typically what I have up there. I don't like running lower level tests. So I didn't do, yeah, as you can do. As you can see, significantly less damage. As expected. Being that, um, these are very much higher levels. These mowers don't want to die. It's not okay. They also get really fucking close to you. Which is annoying because these things hurt when something's up close and personal. paying attention this video so as you can see these things take a lot of ammo like oh my gosh you're gonna be blowing through ammo very quickly holy shit these enemies hurt <laughs> I should really work into a super invincible frame that way I can run these tests and not have a problem, you know, maybe Wukong, I really need to work into him anyways. Oh god damn it, lack of skill. Can't blame the weapon. Um, I'm not gonna get revived. You saw how fast I killed against like all the enemies, so... That's really what this video part was intended for. Uh, I really need to learn to fight around those guys, but I don't. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, those are the Haiku Prime. You saw the uh, you saw the damage they do. Pretty awesome damage. I think it's awesome. I don't really use them outside of Seven Prime because look at this shit. That is a lot of fucking damage. You gotta be understanding that my carrier is healing me pretty quickly. And this guy is also really fucking tanky. But yeah. You can you can kill yourself with these. Um, that's the biggest issue with them in my opinion. They have travel time. They're throwing weapons. What can you expect? They kind of arc down-ish. Not really. But you know, a little bit. Eventually. So I mean, if you're aiming super far down, you gotta aim up a little bit. I guess. Uh, but overall, the weapons are pretty cool. If you don't, if you're like good with them, they're devastating because you're not killing yourself every two seconds. But yeah, hope this helped. If it did, let me know. If you want to see a specific weapon, also let me know, and I'll try to get that out as soon as possible. And besides that, guys, have a good day.